A while ago, I made a video talking about are the DC Power Chambers related. Um, it was a theory I had for a long time, and I decided to do the same thing with Marvel. Now, now, unlike DC, which actually has a lot of made b better reasons, Marvel is a bit harder because DC at least, um, if you can hear um, rain outside, it is because it's raining. But so, with DC, it makes sense that okay, at least from what I gathered, everybody would at least understand that there it could be possible. With Marvel, it's a bit harder. So let's begin. Now, the reason I think Marvel's is harder is because, well, one, Marvel doesn't have that many crises or reboots in the comics. Maybe they have, but not to like a DC level of extent where, you know, you have like Zero Hour, you have Flashpoint, you have all, a lot of amazing stuff. But they don't have that. Um, Marvel is a bit trickier, so let's begin with the ones that are the least likely. Like, so let's first begin. I want to talk about like Dormammu and Loki, uh, and like Maxim the Mad, Magneto, Mephisto. Let's first talk about the ones that are less likely. Like, so we have first we have Loki, Maxim is the Mad, uh, Magneto. Um, Phantom Rider vs. Dodo, Phantom Rider is the, um, it is considered to be the arch enemy of Mockingbird. Um, so I think it makes sense it's more Jamie Slade or Hamilton Lincoln or whatever. It's Phantom Rider is the arch enemy of Mockingbird. Um, Thanos, Galactus, this, um, because Thanos is the arch enemy of the Guardians of the Galaxy in the comics, and Galactus is the arch enemy of Silver Surfer. Um, who else? I'm trying to think of some. <sighs> um, the Void, Anti-Man, and I think that's about it. I don't know. Oh, I'll try to check, but I can't because I'm recording right now. But anyways, um, these are the ones that are less likely because they're kind of from a different, there are different races. Um, I don't, I don't want to be racist here, but, but yeah, this video is not meant to be racist in the slightest. I promise you, that I'm not racist. Um, my, my Marvel vs. DC TV show I'm making right now is racist, so just let your warning, Marvel DC fans. But this one's not racist. Um, the problem when you have like. Because at least in DC, you're like, okay, I understand. Most of the characters are, well, um, very similar. All of them have mental problems. All of them at least. So when you look at DC, you're like, I can understand these guys at least being, like, related. But with Marvel, it's a bit different story. Because Marvel has a lot of bigger ones. Like, big names. Like Spider-Man, Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Hulk, Mockingbird, Hawkeye, Black Widow. And the others. So let's go through the ones that are the more likely. So we first have the Red Skull. He could be considered, um, I, I mean, even Phantom Rider can be considered to be like descendants. I don't know which. Uh, we're using the Jamie Slay Phantom Rider in this one. In this case, I don't know if she was more 19th century or 2000th century or the 20th century. <laughs> um, if she was, well then, yeah, but she can be considered that. They could be considered ancestors and descendants, or descendants, well, maybe ancestors, yeah, makes sense, because Resco was in World War II. Uh, he can be considered to be um, an ancestor of Mandarin. Uh, you have Mandarin, uh, um, in this case, case, um, yeah, and you also have Amelia Blonsky, otherwise known as the Abomination. Now, before, before we go into further, I want to quickly address the form. Yes, I the form which says, hey, where's Jigsaw? Where's the leader? Just simply put, leader is considered to be his sole secondary nemesis. And if you look at Wikipedia on both Jigsaw and leader, you're going to notice, oh wait, you're going to notice that, yeah, Jigsaw and leader are not considered to be the arch enemies. And I have to say, I do kind of agree. I don't really consider either one of them to be the arch enemies. 
um, I would consider Jigsaw and Leader to be like Cold. Like Jigsaw to be considered like Punisher's Captain Cold, um, in a sense where he is a nemesis, but just a secondary nemesis. Same with the Leader. Move on. So the ones that are uh, like the next one we have is like Iron Maiden, Crossfire, uh, Green Goblin. Um, all of those characters can be considered related. Now the question is, are they all related? The answer is yes, because of this one fact. Marvel, obviously, as you can see, is a lot, lot harder. I, I, I can't even go through the family because. I use a lot of characters, so DC is a bit different. But the reason I say yes is because I want to look at two Marvel villains, two female villains, and that are Shriek and Titana. I think both um, characters were at first just um, humans before being trans. Um, before becoming a mutant. They're both mutants in the comics, but I think they were both humans. If I'm wrong, please correct me. Me, me if I'm wrong, then yes, maybe this theory is wrong. But still, this theory could be good, or it could be yes, it is possible, but also no. So if any of you um, heard of Shooting Titana and you guys actually say no, Shooting Titana were at first both mutants, then yes, this theory is kind of considered wrong, but still. Well, but what do y'all think? I'll see y'all next time. Please subscribe to my channel. We're almost to 50 subscribers and then 100. We're getting close to 1200. Um, please subscribe to the channel. Oh, please click that notification bell. And I'll see y'all next time. Goodbye.